Can you imagine Bill Gates and Warren Buffett creating a winter paradise together? Something similar happened right here in Fort Myers 80 years ago. Get ready for a stroll back in time. I am Cindy Myers with My Florida Happy Place. Today we're visiting where the 20th century titans of industry built winter homes, gardens, and botanical labs on the Caloosahatchee River. Today, this historic estate turned museum welcomes visitors from all around the globe. Welcome to the Edison Ford Winter Estates. I'm here with Alex, the marketing coordinator here at the Edison Ford Estates. Yeah, Alex, tell us more about the history of the property, memberships, holiday nights, just anything that you want to share with us about the museum here at the property. So Thomas Edison first arrived Fort Myers in 1885. Uh, he traveled uh, from New Jersey with his best friend and business partner, Ezra Gilland, and they stumbled upon this property for sale by a local cabinet with the name of Samuel Sutherland. And he was selling this 13.5 acres of land for about $3,000. Edison later agreed to purchase it for $2,750. Now, once he purchased it, there is only one building here on the property that Edison would turn into his caretaker's home. He would have an electrical lab built on the property, as well as these two homes. This home that we're currently standing on the porch for Edison and his family, and then the home next door he would have built for his best friend and business partner, Ezra Gibbons. Uh, we do have a 15,000 square foot museum as well across the street dedicated to Thomas Edison and Henry Ford that does showcase many of their inventions. And during the holidays, we decorate the halls with thousands of lights and we do a simplistic display similar to what the Edisons would have done when they were here on the property. We are currently standing in front of Edison's 1928 uh, Botanical Research Laboratory. Now inside the lab, it looks exactly as it would have looked when Edison was here. It looks like he just went to lunch and came back. All the materials that you'll see were ed original to Edison's experimentation. And this laboratory was solely dedicated to Edison's Rocco Research Project. All right, so we are currently standing in the orientation gallery of the Edison and Ford Winter Estates Museum. Over here, you'll see Thomas Edison's 1916 Ford Model T given to him as a birthday gift from Henry Ford. So Henry Ford actually wanted to give Edison a new Ford Model T every year for his birthday. However, Edison found that impractical. Um, so Ford would actually send down mechanics every year from Dearborn, Michigan to upgrade the parts on that vehicle. And it was priced at around $482. So in the Edison and Ford Winter Estates Museum, we have several different galleries. This gallery right behind me is our Into the Wild exhibit, which is dedicated to the camping trips to Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. Harvey Firestone and John Burroughs would take every year uh, for 10 years. We have a timeline of innovation, which is broken down by decade and covers all the inventions that Thomas and Edison and Henry Ford worked on throughout their lifetime. And our exhibit in the back uh, kind of goes over the details of their life in Florida and what they did while they were here in Fort Myers. As someone that serves the community, it is vital to our local economy that we support local businesses. I have partnered with my town to bring awareness and support to local businesses in the community. Will you join me? Send me a message to chat more or to explore your business.